Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this lecture, we will review the evidence for feathered dinosaurs and identify those dinosaurs which likely exhibited feathers in life. Historically, dinosaurs have been reconstructed as large lizard-like or reptilian animals that were slow and squat and not very active. But over the last 50 years, science has shown that dinosaurs looked very different from these earlier Hollywood versions of scaly lizards. Many dinosaurs, in fact, were feathered. Dinosaurs show a diversity of integumentary structures from hard osteoderms to keratin scales, as well as a diversity of feather-like structures. Even in living modern birds, we see both scales, for example, on the legs, while the bulk of the body is covered in feathers. In birds, feathers are useful for both flight and insulation. Some of the most primitive lineages of dinosaurs have integumentary structures that appear to be similar to feathers. The first are rod-like projections that are found in dinosaurs like the early Ornithischian uh, Cetacosaurus and the more fibrous fluff found in Tenia Long. These integumentary fibers lack barbs or hooklets, unlike modern uh, bird feathers, and these early structures appear to be downy or fluffy, limited to insulation, or perhaps some were porcupine quill-like for protection. Feathers are found in both Ornithischian and Saurischian dinosaurs, indicating that they originated before the origin of dinosaurs, and in fact, pterosaurs also exhibit integumentary fluff-like, feather-like structures, so it appears to be a trait unique to the ornithodirians, uh, pterosaurs, dinosaurs, and birds. In Saurischian dinosaurs, integumentary structures are found in theropods, where they first appear in some of the smaller members of the group. Feathers became more feather-like and appear to become flashy, likely due to the use in sexual display, particularly with groups like the Ovaraptosauridae, which had long feathers extending off the tails and the arms. More pinaceous feathers are also found exclusively with the advanced theropod dinosaurs. Velociraptor looked more like modern birds than the classic reptile-like dinosaurs of Hollywood, with the ulna, which features bony nubs where long goose-like feathers would have attached. Not all dinosaurs were covered in feathers. The larger dinosaurs, such as sauropods, ceratopsians, or ornithopoda, have impressions of the skin, which show that they were more scaly than fluffy. This is because larger animals, especially in hot climates, would need to worry more about overheating than overcooling. Having a body covered in fluffy insulation would not be advantageous in a hot climate. Evidence for fluffy feathered dinosaurs are more common with these smaller members, where heat loss was a bigger concern given the higher ratio of surface to area, which would mean that they were more prone to loss of heat than the really big dinosaurs. Dinosaurs also likely used their feathers to help brood their eggs by providing a warm covering prior to hatching. We see long feathers appear in some of the more advanced theropod dinosaurs, most closely related to birds. Pinaceous feathers with barbs are common in both Mesozoic birds and the most closely related dinosaurs like the Dromaeosauridae. All right, be sure to review the diversity of feather-like integumentary structures within dinosaurs. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin Links are found in the description below.